Hey everybody, my name is Roy with DFW Honda, and these are five things you need to know about the 2021 Africa Twin Adventure Sport. All right guys, so the first thing we're gonna be talking about here is the electronic suspension. Uh, this was made standard on the Adventure Sport starting in 2020, and it's uh, standard all the way to the current Africa Twin today. Um, you've got three different adjustments for the preload. You can ride one up, one up with luggage, two up, two up with luggage, and basically, this is just going to adjust the suspension for what you're riding with. So if I wanna add another person to the back, we'll click the other helmet. If we have some luggage, you can do this with one rider or two riders. We can go ahead and hit the little bag there. Uh, and then you should see the actual suspension moving. Okay guys, so the second thing that we're gonna be talking about today is gonna to be your riding modes. Uh, in a nutshell, this is gonna change things in your ECU to make the vehicle operate very differently just depending on what surface that you're on. So starting here, uh, we've got your tour mode. Uh, you will see on the bottom, we have a couple different things that you can change even in the user one and user two, uh, but we've got P for power, E for engine braking, and T for torque management, which is otherwise known as Honda's traction control, okay? So we have tour, we also have urban, we have gravel, and then we also have your off-road and user one and user two. You'll notice between changing all of these modes, the power, engine braking, and torque uh, management will change accordingly. Alrighty guys, so the next thing we're gonna be talking about is the heated grips. Uh, this became standard starting in 2020, only on the Adventure Sport models. How we're gonna actually operate it, we're gonna go ahead and hit this FN button on this side, and you'll notice the heated grips pop up. And then the other FN, we're gonna go ahead and just make it hotter or make it colder. Simple as that. Alrighty guys, so the next one that we're gonna be talking about here is the Android Auto and the Apple CarPlay. Um, as you saw, after we plug in your phone, uh, this screen is gonna pop up whether you'd like to connect your headset or not. For the moment, we don't have a headset connected. If you do, we'll go ahead and uh, obviously click the other button. But click this guy here, do not pair. And then at the moment, my maps pops up. I've got Spotify up. If you go ahead and hit the couple dots down here, it'll bring you to the whole menu of all the apps that are available through your, uh, your phone. Okay, so what we're looking at right now is your Apple CarPlay. Uh, so once we get your phone plugged in, uh, this screen is gonna pop up along with you pairing your headset. The headset must be plugged in in order for Apple CarPlay to work. We'll go ahead and simply hit enable. It's gonna bring you back to this main screen. Now it's saying Apple CarPlay is connected. We're simply gonna go ahead and hit the time. You'll see Apple CarPlay shows up and then your main menu pops up. So just like the, uh, the Android Auto, you can have your maps up, Spotify, Pandora, whatever it is. And then you'll hit these dots down below bringing it to the main menu. Alrighty guys, so the next thing we're gonna be looking at here is the cruise control. Uh, this was made standard on both the base model and the Adventure Sports starting in 2020 and is standard all the way until current model years. Uh, very simple to use. We have an on and off button. We have an up and down for plus and minus for up and down a mile an hour. We have resume and set. This system will disengage just like a car. Any touch of the throttle, clutch, or shifter will stop the system from being used. Alrighty guys, so those are the five things you need to know about this 21 Africa Twin Adventure Sport. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. My name is Roy Marone with DFW Honda. We'll see you here soon.